Hey everyone, and what's up? It's me, and I'm back with another video. Like, look at this wig. Let's get into it. Okay, so look, check out that color. So look on the inside of the wig. It's a T-part wig, and it does come with four combs, adjustable scraps, and some bottom built-in scraps. Okay, so let's get into it, Pooh. Like, this was a quality wig, a quality. Okay, period. Now look at me, check me out. I'm just adjusting the wig on my head. For some reason, this wig felt really snug to my head. I mean, I have an average size head. So, I mean, I didn't have to cut the side tabs like I normally would have. I did cut a little bit, but not too much. But right now, what I'm doing, I'm doing the process of laying my glue down. And I'm going to do this at least two times. And the second time, I'm going to add a little more than normal. Usually, I would do this three times, but two was enough. Okay, so now I'm about to take the end of my comb, and I'm about to spread it out and thin out the layer of the glue. Now, this particular day, the video may seem like it's a bit rushed, but it's not. I was having so many things going on at once, and I, like I said, like, like I'm going to say in the video, like I was so eager to get this video out for you guys. And, you know, put out some good content because, you know, I'm trying to be consistent over here. So, leave me some kind words of encouragement down below. Also, you know, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more quality wigs or just wigs in general. Okay, now I'm about to lay my lace into my glue. Like, normally I would do this in, like, three steps and cut my lace. But this particular day, I was pressed for time. And I was anxious to get this video out for you guys. Because when I, when I received this wig, I was like, oh, my God, yes. And don't be afraid to press your lace into your glue with your fingers. Like, that'll help you too. Um, oh, additional step. Normally, I would take my got to be or some hairspray and spray it into my lace before I put my band down. But this particular day, I didn't. But that's just an additional step that you guys can do depending on how long you want to wear your wigs. Okay, so now I'm about to clip my hair up and tie my milk band down into my lace. Now, don't do these. Tie it in the back and let it melt for like 10 minutes. This particular day, like I said before, things were going wrong. So I tied it in the front and I flipped it around. But hey, it still worked. And you can leave it down for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let it melt, sis. Let it melt. Per usual slate, I just take my eyebrow razor and I razor away that extra lace. Now, this effect is going to give you that jagged look that you're going for and it won't give you that straight across look. And I do have a widow's peak and it's still kind of hard for me to create one. So, that's why it's going to look a little, you know, jagged, but it's cool. We still going to rock with it. So, I did go ahead and do my baby hair off camera and the wig came to me straight. But I did go ahead and pop in a few layers and a few curls in there because who just wants gray hair? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a little more of a rounder face, I suggest you add in a few layers to your wig, okay? You know what I'm saying? Look at me feeling myself. Now, if you want to purchase this wig, this wig is 180 density. It's a T-part wig. And it's also a frontal. And you can glue it down or wear it glueless. 
and also also check the description box below for everything i will leave all details below and this color was like a 427 i might have said that already and they did send me a wig cap like that was so sweet um this is a 13 by 6 wig for the parting space and i will see you guys in the next one